let's see how we can connect to mysql server from visual studio code and run queries on that mysql server first open your visual studio code and click on this extensions or hit control shift x shortcut and your extensions will open now search for mysql now you will see a bunch of options i use this one this colorful one from vision shen click on this and click on install so as you can see, it not only works for MySQL, it also works for Postgre, SQLite, Redis, and Elasticsearch. So now our MySQL client or extension is installed. You can close this. Now you'll see these options. So click on database, this option. Now I already have a connection here, but in your case, it will not be there. So you can just delete this. Let me just delete this. So it will be like this initially, right? So you can click on create connection. And let's say I just call it test connection. And connection scope is global. This that means that this connection will be available whenever you open any other project, also. So I'll just leave it at that. And I'll leave the rest as it is. So here are where you need to put your credentials. So let's say you have a MySQL server in some remote server. So you need to enter that IP here. For now, I'll use the local database that I have local MySQL server that I have in my local machine. So I'm using this localhost IP address. The port is this, this also. If you have different port, you can change port here. And the username is root. Also, in my local database, I don't have a password, so I'll not enter any password here. And yeah, so you can choose to enter a database name here. But for now, I will not enter anything. Now click on connect. So as you can see, the connection is success. So once the connection is success, you can click on save so that this database connection is saved. So I click save now and the connection is saved. So I can close this now. And as you can see, my test connection is shown here. Now I can just do this. And as you can see, there are two databases here, tests and phpMyAdmin. And inside tests, there are no tables at the moment. As you can see, no tables found, and inside PHP My Admin, there are a bunch of tables. So, what you can do is click on this, open query, and you can query this database. So, I can do show tables and run this using run selected SQL or control enter. So, as you can see, I don't have any tables, so no, none of the tables are shown. This is how you can connect to MySQL database and run queries against any database. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below.